I am not the ultimate fisherman. Jesus Christ. But I'm getting there. Today I'm paying a visit to Bear Creek Swamp, a locally famous wetland in Otago County, Alabama. This little stretch of County Road 3 is well known for being a local haunted spot. Over the years there's been reports of spooky glowing orbs, phantom car headlights, apparitions of Native Americans and Civil War soldiers, as well as the ghost of a woman who's constantly searching for her infant out here in this swamp. And while I don't know much about the science of bugaboos, I do know that these wetland environments play host to a variety of different species of animals and plants. And so my goal today is to show you one of the ones residing in these shallow murky waters. So I collected some bluegill and we're going to cut it up and we're going to soak bait using two different bottom rigs. The first one's going to be a Carolina rig using a half ounce egg sinker above a swivel. We got 20 pound braided main line to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And at the end of that, we have a three aught circle hook. The second rig is going to be a dropper rig utilizing a one ounce pyramid sinker at the bottom with a three aught circle hook tied in the middle. And we're just going to toss that out and soak some bait. Whoop. We got something. We got something. What is it? Is that my bow fin? Nope, nope, stay out of there. I think that's my bow fin. I finally got him. Whew. Now I gotta get him up here. <laughs> oh, right in the side of the mouth. Good work, circle hook. All right. Now for the less than fun part. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, in all reality, that's probably my fault. Should have took him in the road. Daggum. Nope, best I can do is rebate and try again. Hope that there's more than one. Oh, that's so sad. There we go. Oh, no, don't get on the tree. Did I lose him? Oh, no, no. And he's gone. So that's twice now the bowfin has bested me. I wanted to say that he popped my hook, but the loop is completely intact. So the best I can figure is that hook that I used. It didn't have a completely closed eye. And he managed to thread the line back through that teeny tiny little gap. So... <sighs> saw the top of his fin. I know that's what it is. He's really yanking on it, but I need him to be hooked. <sighs> He's putting slack in my line. I'm about to reel up on him. He's hooked, and he's gone. How? Why? What is happening? <laughs> oh my god. This is three times now. This is three times this fish has beat me. 
this fish, this one fish that lives under this pile of mess is really giving it to me. <sighs> Something's playing with my line. I severely doubt it's the bowfin again that quickly after fighting with me. I think it's going to be a freaking turtle. But I just don't know. Putting the slack in my line just like he did a second ago. It might be the bowfin again. I don't know. I can't tell. He's done beat me three times now. Why would I expect this one to be any different? So much slack in my line. It's all up in the bushes now. Go the other way and hook yourself. If you are a bowfin, go the other way and load it up. I know I'm gonna regret it. Yep, is he already gone? It's four. It's four times. Oh, why do I get beat so many freaking times? I gave him all the time in the world. Now there's something playing with this one. All right, he's got to be hooked at this point. That was a good solid whack. Now for the less than fun part. Wait. What? Oh, it's a massive turtle. That's why he whacked it hard. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. You dumb turtle. Great big old snapping turtle. Oh, you annoying thing. Let go of the tree, man. go he took my whole rig this day just gets you know better and better I give up on Bear Creek Swamp I tried I tried my best and it just it was not meant to be apparently so still sticking with the same theme of swampy wetlands I've actually come out to a different location on a different day this is what is called Cobb Swamp it's on the back end of Cooter's Pond, which attaches to the Alabama River. So it's a slightly different environment, but at the end of the day, it's still an icky swamp that most people aren't going to bother venturing this far into. Still using the same setup, still using the same bait. We're just going to soak it at a couple different spots as I work my way through this absolutely ridiculous lily pad field. Goodness, what is it? It's my bow fin. It's my bow fin. Come on. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Get in the net. Yes. Oh, finally, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> he's not done, Woo. kind of bit me on the way out, mean old thing. Do I get a redemption? 
right in the weeds. Come on, break out. There we go. Break out. Gah. These fish, man. Where am I net? <clears throat> Dang, if he don't look like the exact same one, man. Jesus. Come on. Get in the net, man. Come on now. Get in the net. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. I get a redemption. Oh. Oh. Man, these things pull. <laughs> Golly. Now, your last buddy got a piece of me. If you don't mind, I'd like to avoid that this time. So if you could kindly open your mouth, let me lip grip you. We can get this over with all at once, okay? No spazzing. He's so gonna bite me. Yeah, gotcha. Oh. Freaking heavy. That's what y'all are. Good gracious. <laughs> A little bit of slime in my mouth appreciate it all right lip grips this time not taking them off because i'm complete butterfingers with this species for some reason so this is a bow fin a mia calva otherwise known as mudfish dogfish cypress trout oh he just pooped on me man that was absolutely nasty gross Anyway, let's get one thing straight. This is a native species of North America. This is not to be confused with the northern snakehead. Different fish. Fishermen that do encounter this species tend to think of it as a trash fish. He's got pointy teeth. He gets to a pretty decent size. And so, of course, he gets blamed for eating all the game fish. But research has shown that these are actually very, very important to balancing out not just the ecosystem, but if you were to try and manage a fishery you kind of need to put some of these in your water system you see these are not picky eaters they're going to eat whatever's around and in particular they tend to eat whatever the most numerous thing is in the water system so when they've done dissections of these things and they found crappie in the bellies it's because there was a ton of crappie in that water system like way too many crappie too many of the game fish results in not that great a game fish you want there to be lots of bait and a competitive amount of sports fish not too many sports fish and not enough food to go around and besides all of that great tree hugging information there's also the fact that they're just great fun to catch i like th th both of them that i've caught today put up quite a fight look look how big he is he got some size to him i wish i had brought my scale but i didn't they pull hard they jump a lot i mean this is the complete package when it comes to a sport fish now as for catching them you can use bass lures a lot of bass fishermen will tell you they've lost a lot of spinner baits to these things and it's true if you put a bait in front of his face he's probably going to eat it they're very opportunistic but to raise your chances of it the reason i went with cut bait is because they actually have these little extended nostrils and what those are is they work exactly like a catfish whisker wheel and that it allows them to pick up scent in the water and so a nice bloody piece of cut bluegill apparently it works now a word of caution you may have noticed on the last one that i lost straight out of the kayak they don't give up once they get out of the water and it's because they got a gas bladder that they can actually utilize as a lung in these areas like this swamp there's probably not a whole lot of oxygen dissolved in this water so where there's not really any bass in here as far as i can tell these things can thrive because they just come up to the surface and actually take a big old gulp of air and then go on about their day so a great survivalist a great fight and they balance the ecosystem these fish are awesome all right let, let him go There he goes. <sighs> All right. It's hot. The swamps hold some fascinating species. For now, we're just going to stop at the bowfin because, frankly, a lot of the other stuff is going to be a little more complicated to get a hold of. But we will definitely be visiting some more wetlands in the future. But until then, y'all have a good one.